Hello everyone, nice to have you back. We will continue with another video of our KI Jetronic series. Below you will find the link to the playlist so you stay updated concerning all components involved in this KI Jetronic. Today's topic is the cold start valve, how to remove it, disassemble, check functioning, clean and put it back together. Few things are needed to get it done. A mason jar or something similar, some clear glass recipient of any kind that holds a quarter of a liter or half a pint, a spanner size 12 to unbolt the fuel line from the cold start valve. This is actually it. How to get it done? Right after the introduction. Please stay tuned. I'll be right back. We are back in the engine bay. The air filter housing must not be removed this time for a change. I count myself lucky. So right here is the cold start valve being connected with a plug. This here is the fuel line. So this device is atomizing the fuel when having a cold start. We unplug the cable without using any force, otherwise the notches in which the plug is being held tightly get damaged. We put the cable aside and now with the use of a spanner size 12 we unbolt the fuel line. Use an old cloth which will absorb the spillage of the fuel. Some fuel will exit here. If you are already working on your electrohydraulic pressure regulator, it comes up quite handy since this part is under pressure as well. Unbolt the fuel line carefully. We were lucky, very little mess this time, just a couple of drops of petrol, even better. Some of these devices can simply be unplugged. Well, this one here is being held by two bolts. I need an imbus size 5 to unbolt my device. Just remove it. This is what it looks like from the inside with this pointed top, which is the valve. If it is dirty and greasy, on the outside it can be cleaned easily. I will give it a quick wipe and then I reassemble it for testing. The wire is being plugged in, the valve is being connected with the fuel line and stuck in a mason jar. So I can check the spray pattern of the valve. Is it acceptable or not? Do not forget to unplug the coil since the engine does not need the plugs to spark. We just need the idle without working plugs. So this is the way to check the cold start valve. It is working properly, spray pattern is alright and fuel is being atomized nicely. Once you have reassembled everything, make sure it is all tightly and properly sealed to avoid fuel leaks inside the engine bay. The entire playlist of this very Kiai Chetronic chapter is being on display below in the video description. While I'm here I would kindly ask you to note my Kindle ebooks. All links to them are also included in the video description. Certain extracts of the repair instructions are being laid out to the detail, such as the removal of the mono and duo valve of the heating system.
I suggest you have a look at it for a so-called deeper insight. And another announcement is to be made. Videos of my series 108, 109 will recommence again in the second half of the year. I rather say autumn since my 108 will undergo major surgery. As shown above on the left, I talk like a MD actually. <laughs> It will cost me an arm and a leg, but I don't really care. My wife is working full time and doing extra overtime to pay for all of this. So I don't need to worry. If you would like to contribute some donations, I'm open, really open. My PayPal address is shown below. Hey guys, just kidding. I just wanted to tell you why my 108 is not around no more for some time. Hope you like this video. Another job without getting our hands dirty. I like it this way. Hope to see you soon next time with another episode of whatever comes up. You take care everyone. Bye bye. Ciao.